Hello and thank you for looking at the Glass and Art Studio Mixed Coaster tutorial. My name is Katie Hinder, glass artist and tutor. In this kit you will have two pieces of 10 by 10 centimetre glass, 3 millimetres thick each, seven mixed colour stringers, some mixed frits which are at the top of the screen and you'll need some PVA glue, eight parts glue to two parts water mixed just to thin it down a little bit and it's handy to have a pair of tweezers. Now you'll see that I'm cleaning the glass. It's important to remember before you begin that it is glass and the edges are sharp. So as you're cleaning and working with it, don't run your fingers down the edge. And if you're under 16, get the help of an adult. To clean the glass, we use vinegar or glass cleaner with a cloth. Make sure you've got a nice amount of cloth between your hands and the glass. I'm working my way around the edges, cleaning the front and the back. Now you'll see that there's a smooth and a rough side to the glass. As we're making a coaster and we want it to be fairly flat, we're going to sandwich the two smooth sides together. If you sandwich the rough sides, you'll get very fine champagne bubbles, which is fine. Sometimes we like to add bubbles to pieces, but as it's a coaster and we don't want our drink to fall off, we're going to go smooth to smooth. Now you'll see that I put a bit of PVA in each corner and although it won't stick straight away it will stick within 24 hours so don't worry if the glass moves around a little bit that's perfectly normal. As it sticks it'll be really hard to get it apart. Now to begin my design I'm using a red stringer. Stringers are one millimeter thick strips of glass which are pulled while the glass is molten like spaghetti really, but they're not edible. So you can break them with your fingers. I measured the stringer on the glass and broke it, applied a little bit of PVA and I'm now sticking it down. Stringers can move, so just give it a little nudge if it does. I'm now moving on to the orange stringer. The orange stringer is a striker and it won't look orange until it's fired. Striker means that it strikes on firing. Part of the heat process means the colour will develop. So it will look completely different after firing. You can gently move the stringers around with your fingers or if you wanted to you could use the tweezers. I'm now moving on to a yellow opaque stringer, again one mil, and I think I've sped things up a little bit now. Yep, there we go. As you're using the stringers, just be careful of the edges, as when you snap them, they can be a little bit sharp. I'm moving on to the spring green. You don't want to use too much PVA, so what I'm using there is probably the right amount. If you use too much, it can leave a residue after firing. So don't be tempted to put loads on. Wait until the next day, and if things are still moving around, you can apply a little bit more. We're using Bullseye Glass Fusible, which is a range of glass which is made in the US. I've used Bullseye Glass for the last 10 years. Um, I found it at university. I use it because the colours are the best and I think that if you're spending a good amount of time making a piece you want to know that you're going to have the best firing finish and the best colours. You have to use bullseye glass with bullseye glass and you can't mix it with glass that isn't fusible or not from their range. As you can see I'm applying the glue as I go and the last stringer I'm going to apply is the royal purple. Now I'm starting to use the frits. Frits are crushed glass which are made from sheet glass by machine, which means that they've got slightly softened edges, they're not sharp, a little bit like glass glitter. So although they look pretty, they're definitely not edible. And you can just sprinkle them on and move them around a little bit if you want to. 
in that selection I've got spring green transparent red light pink striker which looks like it's lilac before it's fired but again like the orange it will change color on firing and I'm just moving that one to the edge of the coaster because it's a coarse piece of frit meaning that it's more chunky and I don't want it to be bumpy after fired so you probably want to go for a fairly even finish with all your pieces of frits and stringers to give you a nice even coaster at the end. Now the reason we clean the glass is that we don't want to have devitification, which is when the top layer or the edges of the glass crystallise and look cloudy. So when you're cleaning, you're removing all the grease and anything from the manufacturing process that is still on there. And there we go.